With the holiday season approaching us, what better time to talk about gifting? Gifting is a great way to show your appreciation for individuals and nonprofit organizations right in your community. We'll sit down with our friends at Scory Financial up next. I'm here today with Pat Scroy of Scroy Financial, and today we're here to talk about the value of gifting during the holidays. So, tell me more about why it's important and you know uh, valuable to gift financially during the holidays. Well, first, good morning, and uh, thanks for having me here, Kimberly. We really appreciate it. Um, I mean, this is a time of year where that question is most common, and I would say that the number one question I get or misnomer in the gifting world is. One, how much can I give and can I do it tax free, right? So I don't know what they do when people are out having a cup of coffee, asking their friends questions. But this is a type of year where people have to take their RMDs, required minimum distribution, so they're always asking, can I take that out and give it to my children or grandchildren tax free? And, and the answer is no, right? We can gift and the limits as we were talking about are 17,000 per person with no tax implications, which is, which is pretty awesome. Years ago it was 10 grand, so people do talk about that, but today it is 17,000 per person. So husband and wife can give 34,000 to each child without any filings or any reporting, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, if it's coming from a bank account, no taxes coming from your IRA, you gotta pay the taxes first to give it. So those are the advantages we, we like to talk about. And, and do you see an increase during the holidays of people gifting? Uh, we do, because a lot of the parents, they get, when your kids get to a certain age, you go, what am I gonna buy them? What else am I gonna wrap? So they wanna give you know, cash, especially to kids, grandkids, or put it into a college account. So they like to kind of ask those questions about it. So it is very, very common on a personal level. And then it becomes even more um, prevalent on a, on a charitable level is what we'll get into with uh, qualified charitable distributions. Yeah, so it, are there tax exemptions or benefits to donating to charities? Uh, yes, I, I never had anybody say they save too much for retirement, but if we have accumulated some money in 401ks, IRAs, 403bs, you can, that money can go to a charity without any taxes up to $100,000 per year. And, and so it's the importance of that, what I mean is it's really, really important that we do that and talk about it. So for me, from Thanksgiving till Christmas, is the time most commonly where we, we get the question about that. Um, and it changed. So back in 2017, you had what they call the Tax Cuts and, and Jobs Act. And in that time frame, prior to that, the, the itemized deduction was a little bit lower. So more families itemized than not itemized. Today, 90% of households, they just file a standard return without itemizing. So the money they're given to church, the money they're given to hospice, the money they're given to their local charity, they don't get any tax benefit for doing that. If they pull it directly from their retirement account and go right to the charity, um, it goes there tax-free. Um, they don't have to pay tax on it. The charity gets it tax-free. So it's kind of a win-win all the way around. So really the last seven years, six years, it's been a big change in terms of people, more and more people doing that. And I'm assuming with businesses as well to donate to charities towards the end of the year. I think they do it budget-wise, but yeah, towards the end of the year, most business owners like us, we're a small business, we do kind of evaluate. Okay, how'd the year go? You know, how do we want to take care of our employees? And then the second step would be, do we have money left to take care of those charities most important to us? And speaking of which, what charities are most important to Scory Financial? Um, as a local small business, we tend to spend the local charities. Number one for me personally is my brother passed away in 2016. Mm -hmm. So we started our own 501c3 called the Jeffrey Michael Scory Foundation, where we support all the, all the projects in the community important to him. Uh, second would be Kids Escaping Drugs, where we have a very, very big connection there. Uh, it was always Pun Foundation with Brian and Amber Mor Mormon, who did a wonderful job through the years starting that with young families, with families with kids with cancer, and then the, some local ones, Orchard Park Boys and Girls Club, and, and a few others. But those are the ones most special to us. Well, they are all amazing organizations, and what a beautiful thing you're, you're doing in, in memory of your loved one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show today and, and teaching me more about the value of gifting. Thank you for having me. Of course. For more episodes of The Sweet Buffalo Show, visit Sweet Buffalo on all our social platforms for sweet stories worth sharing.